This year's coverage of the 2023 Premium Cigar Association Trade Show was produced by Tobacco Talk Media. What's going on everybody? Cigar Show Tim here at Tobacco Talk Media. PCA 2023 with Mo Molly of Patina Cigars. Mo, how Sir, you doing, brother? Good, brother. How are you? Doing, doing all right. Well. Good, man. So, how's the show been so far? It's good, man. Yeah. Day uh, one was busy. Yeah, it was. You know, we were getting stuff done. I mean, uh, typically day two, day three are a little bit busier for yeah. us. So, okay. um, yeah, man, just gonna continue uh, meeting with people and talking about the brand and mm -hmm. uh, you know the guys that already carry it have mm -hmm. been through and, and kind of done good. so. It's um, it's really great to see that, you know, it's picking up and doing well in the places that already have Patino. Nice. So. so you've recently come out with something that I know is limited in quantity. Talk about your anniversary. Yeah, so that was a project, uh, you know, just to celebrate the five years, even though we're at technically six, but uh, COVID kind of pushed it Absolutely. back. Absolutely. And then, um, so yeah, that was a Connecticut broadleaf over Mexican San Andreas with uh, US and Nicaragua and the fillers. and. Just a really good cigar, man. We limited it to 500 boxes, um, so it's a true limited, uh, yeah. and, and you know that's it. So it's not uh, one of those. Oh, it's limited, and there's 1,500 boxes out there. No, we may come out with that blend in a different size okay. at some point in the future, but that size is that's it. Because you got you got to reward the, the guys that bought it and Absolutely. the ladies that bought it. Yep. Um, for getting out and seeking it and purchasing it and and maintaining that that special character of it, you know? Um, so you want to uh, keep that intact. So last time we talked to TPE, um, you had had your Sumatra that was out. Yep. What's the response like now that it's been out for a while? Man, it's, so it's wild. I didn't expect it to do, because Sumatra is a very polarizing wrapper for a lot of people. Um, I think by putting the, the broadleaf binder on it, it kind of like brought out the best in the Sumatra and uh, allowed it to play very well with the broadleaf. So the, the response has been fantastic on that cigar. And it's funny because like when people come to the booth, you know, two years ago, three years ago, like, oh, I want the Kinetic, I want the Kinetic. They're like, give me Sumatra samples. So I guess, you know, I don't know if that's a way to judge it, but certainly um, in the feedback we got from the show last year, I mean, people were talking about this is one of the best cigars I've smoked at this show. So, uh, you know, for us, it's, man, just getting the word out and, and continuing to build awareness about the brand. Uh, I think the cigars speak for themselves, but yep. a lot of people just don't know about it. So, yep. and then thankfully, opportunities that you're affording me right now give me an opportunity to be able to talk Absolutely. about it. Yeah. Well, and, and that's what I love about being here, but obviously yeah. always catching up with you, as you know, I've been a supporter of you oh. as soon as I found out about you. Of course, man. And yeah. I love being able to tell people why I love Patina and the different sizes, when I can remember what they're all called. Right, um, right, right. All that. But um, it's fun watching where you were a couple years ago, and then now knowing that there's people coming up to you and saying, what's next? What have you got? I heard about this, I right. heard about that. Right, and right. And now, now they're getting the buzz, so you're getting more attention, which is great. Yeah, man, it's it's a circle. Like if you, I feel like if you treat people with respect, you appreciate the people that, that wanted to do things with you, whether yeah. that's on the retailer side, the, the factory side, the media side, anything, and you respect what people are trying to accomplish, and you find a way to be complimentary to that, you guys could really work together very well. And so uh, it's just, you know, that respecting that cycle. You know, people talk about like the cycle of life. Well, there's a cycle of brand building too. Absolutely. And so, um, yeah. It's that's all kind of, relationships. At 100%, man. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously you just did the anniversary, but are there any other things that you're working on? Any other projects that are, you yeah. know, ideas or, you know, some concepts right now? Yeah, so working on a Nicaraguan Puro. Okay. Um, that's still in the, in the works. Uh, still needs some tweaking. Okay. Um, have a new line coming out for next year, uh, which will be a Habano Oscuro wrapper Ooh, okay. uh, over a Sumatra binder okay. with uh, US and Nicaragua in the filler. Nice. Uh, so very excited about that. And there will be a size in that that'll be a first for Patina, but I'm oh, not, really? not ready to say what no, that is. No, I don't yet. blame you yeah. one bit. Yeah. Because I saw your post on social media not yeah. long ago, we already talked about it, where I was yeah. just like, oh, this is what's coming up. And I was like, oh, I yeah. want it already. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Well, you're going to get one. I so, appreciate it. Yeah. So, like right cool. after this. So there we go. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> so you did actually. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Yeah. 
Very cool. <laughs> yeah, man. I love coming by and seeing you. No, man, you've appreciate got. it. It's always a good time. And I Thank love, you, I'm going to show the camera this. Yep. I love one of the changes that you've made within the last year or so. Uh, yeah, last six months, really. Yeah, yeah. is yeah. putting the secondary band on the cigar. If I can get it to focus, there you go. It's putting the secondary band on the cigar that shows what yeah. the blend is instead yeah. of people having to go, okay, that band, I think it's this one. I'm not. Right. You know, yeah, it just, it just makes so it easier. Sense. And, uh, you know, the retailers had given me, you know, I always listen to feedback, Absolutely. right? And so, you know, whether it's the barcodes, the SKUs, uh, the double bands, differentiating the blends, uh, those are things that were feedback that were given to us, man. We just try to implement things that make sense and we right. feel could help the retailer and Patina. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll do it, you know? Well, and if it's the customer that's saying, hey, we'd love it if, yeah. then. then catering to what they want is only going to help you grow 100 percent, man and you know I, I will say this it didn't really come much from the consumers really no or the shop mostly, side? yeah it was mostly on the shop side uh consumers by and large are like man you have the skew on there i know what box i took it out of yep. if i'm ordering online i know what i'm ordering yep. uh so it wasn't as much as consumer driven that one was more retailer driven but it's it's done very simply but very yeah. elegantly i mean it matches obviously the primary band with yeah just the simple word of what the blend is it, it, it came out very nice yeah man i think if you the easier you make it uh the more likely it's to keep repeating itself yep, so exactly. yeah perfect well brother i appreciate thank your time you very much i appreciate you thanks yes. Tim. all right thank you all right, guys, from PCA 2023 with Mo Molly of Patina Cigars, I got more content coming your way. This year's coverage of the 2023 Premium Cigar Association Trade Show was produced by Tobacco Talk Media. 